Hello, uh, this is the Add to Gallery package, which is a fork um, of the, let me have a quick peek, of the Gallery Saver package. Now, I didn't do a pull request um, because I've deviated from that functionality quite considerably. What I want to do in this video is just quickly show you the behavior and have a little peek at the code as well. So I've got the app installed on uh, an iPhone simulator and an Android simulator here. And I'm just going to have a quick look in Google Photos. You can see I've got this downloads photo uh, gallery here. And on Apple Photos, um, I've got a few empty galleries as well. So let's just jump on to Android. So here's the example app. So when you run the example uh, code, you'll, you'll see this screen here. Um, I can take a photo on Android because it has the uh, simulator for a camera. So I can take a photo, accept that. And I get this little alert telling me what the original path was and then the new path within the gallery. So it does make a copy. Um, that's on purpose. Uh, basically, if you just have a look at the README, you'll explain, um, you'll be able to see uh, why I've gone down that path. But yes, I've got a, a copy of the image and it's now visible in the gallery. I've also got these two other examples where it's just copying a local asset and that will also appear in the gallery. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add this one twice to show you a little Google oddity, uh, which is worth making note of. So let's just switch to the gallery now. You can see here, um, I've got those two images, the one from the camera and one from the local asset. But there's only one of that local asset. I'll see if I can cheat it. I'm gonna add this one twice in quick succession and jump on over. So basically, uh, that's too quick for me. Uh, Google Photos has this feature where if it detects two identical images, it will just basically delete the copy. So this could be confusing behavior. I did consider catering for it within the package, uh, but thought it was a little bit overkill just for that particular edge case, but it is worth pointing out. On iPhone, the behavior is, as you'd expect, the same. So just to prove it, I'm gonna add a local asset or two. I'll do that one twice. You'll see that uh, iPhone does not have that duplicate detection. And if I take a camera, obviously in the simulator, I don't have a camera. Um, but you'll see that now I've got these uh, images saved to the gallery. Just super quick peek of the code. Um, this is the example main dot dot. All the code is in there. And basically I've just got my main scaffold with uh, three widgets, save asset and save image. The logic is essentially fully contained within the on tap of those ink wells. So you can see here, basically I've got the package here, add to gallery, and these are my parameters. So a path to the original file, uh, sorry, um, you pass the original file, which album you'd like it to move into, and whether you want to delete that original file after it's completed. Uh, by default, that's false. I think that's decent behavior. Often you'll be working with temporary files with images, and if you're not, that, that should be by design. So it's up to you whether you want to delete those files after they've been moved or rather added to the gallery. And the album name is just a global variable called add to gallery. That can be anything you want. And basically the camera um, version is essentially the same. I'm using the image picker packages to get that photo. And then you can see the rest is essentially the same. A little bit of duplication of code there, but I think that's fine. Um, and that's it. I hope that's a useful package for anyone wanting to save their images and photos to the gallery.